Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got a quick one for you this afternoon. Got the, the 590 in the garage today. We're gonna be pulling the blower off and uh, thought it'd be a good time to show you a little mod that I made to this blower. For those that might be interested, these blowers have got that uh, wear edge on the bottom and then you've got the, uh, the feet you can use on the sides to kind of carry the weight and adjust the height. I'm on all concrete and I wear those out really fast. So several years ago, somebody suggested to me putting a rubber edge on the bottom of my blower. That's exactly what I did. So you can see here the rubber sticks out past the foot. And what I did is I sandwiched it underneath using the bolts, I use washers. I'll get this blower off in a minute and I'll show you what it looks like underneath. But basically this thing rides on rubber now. That's just a piece of conveyor belt material. It's about a quarter inch thick. And uh, the downside to it is you can't scrape. So if somebody drove on your driveway and uh, you're going over those pack down tracks, they don't peel up quite as nice. Uh, but after you drive over them with the tire chains a couple times, it usually breaks them up and it comes up okay. So but it, it wears forever. I think this is the second piece of rubber I've had on this blower in close to eight years now, maybe maybe longer than that, but um, it works pretty nice. Another benefit is you can drive across grass, um, which I know, you know, people probably aren't thinking, why would you want to snow blow across your grass? But you'd be surprised. Uh, some people have got small dogs that they need to clear trails for and such. Uh, I actually use it quite a bit to clear a path to get to my trailer because I parked that flatbed trailer out behind my house and uh, it's hard to get to with the tractor and pull it around when I need to hook the truck up. I can't get the truck around, so yeah, I can just drop that blower and run it right down on the lawn and it doesn't tear the grass up. So I will uh, put you down for a minute and I'm gonna get that blower off and stand it up on its side and I'll show you how I attach that. Okay, as promised, we are back. So this is what the bottom side looks like. So you can see here there's a hole worn through that. So what I did is I, it tends to wear the most out on the edges here on the corners. Um, that's where it rides. I've got a lot of uh, hills and angles and such in the driveway. So it tends to ride heavily on those two corners when I'm turning. But so when you wear through the edge, you can see kind of how it's worn there. When you wear through it, you can take that off and turn it around. So you've got two edges to run on. It always runs on the front, but uh, you can just kind of see here, all I did was drill, you know, drill holes through the rubber and use some washers and bolted that on there. So it's just sandwiched, you know, between the washers and that uh, factory wear edge there. It works great. Like I said, it's, it's kind of cool to be able to go across the grass and clear it right down to the grass in the middle of winter if you need to, to drive on it to get a trailer or a vehicle through or something where you might not be able to get it out otherwise but yeah it uh works good for that and like i said that that rubber lasts forever i've never bought a, another wear edge for that blower because i've been running that rubber the whole time so it never never wears out uh the metal the metal edge there so just a quick little hack for you on your snow blower if you're interested um, thanks for stopping by the channel and have a good day thanks for watching